And now it's time for Talking to Joe. Joe Rose is live from the WQAM studios this morning. Good morning, Joe. We mentioned a bit about the Heat, Good the morning. Heat game. Great game, actually. I finally actually got to go and see that and go see that go to overtime. Now, uh, speaking about Hassan Whiteside, you know, hearing about his expletive filled rant Saturday uh, and about his playing time. What do you think of Whiteside's comments and the Heat's response to that? Uh, I got a lot of different thoughts on actually, and, and the first one would be when you miss 29 games and you're just coming back and the team's been playing pretty well, uh, I just try to fit in and get myself in shape and, and start playing better instead of deciding. Now, I understand his frustration, especially when he's looking over there, looking at Brooklyn Center and saying, man, I could dominate. There's not that many. Uh, but, but he hasn't played that great, whether it's injury or whatever it is. His conditioning's not great. I know he didn't get to play at the end of that game, didn't play at the end of the third, in the fourth, or in overtime. But uh, you got to do a lot more before you start popping off. And uh, so I, I'm looking, Hassan Whiteside, I do understand his frustration, but you can't expect to miss that many games, and all of a sudden you're back for like your second game. And, and you think you should be right in there like uh, the main guy or something. Uh, they know there's a game plan for him. He's important to what they're doing, but they can win without him. They've proven that. This guy's missed a lot of basketball games. He said he's important to their game plan, but what do you think moving forward, his future, what, do you think, what are he going to do without him, and do you think they're going to push forward without him, or is that going to be a plan for them? Bianca, that's a great question. Uh, here's a problem. I, I don't know if, if they can get rid of him. He's got two years left for a lot of money uh, coming up in his, the last two years of this contract. Uh, you know, I, I think he thinks a little bit more of himself than the rest of the league does, to be, to be honest. He's a great defensive player. He blocks shots when he's right. We haven't seen him right very much this year. Uh, but his offensive game... Uh, leaves a lot to be desired there before he starts popping off about one being one of the best centers. I, I'd like to see it, I'd like to see it more. He teases us this year. We've seen some big games, but not on a consistent basis. And then again, it goes back to when you're injured all the time. Uh, I, I don't know. It'd be really interesting. I think they'll definitely try to ship him out. There's no question about that question is you want to get something back because he is a, a really solid center when he's right when he's happy when he's not moping and pouting and acting like a 15 year old uh, I don't know if that's nice to 15 year olds to even say that but I'd like to see some more maturity I, I really would I, I think that would handle a lot of this because on certain nights Bianca he is really good and I haven't forgotten those nights for people that like us on white side but man Grow up, and boy, I'll tell you what, coming out and blasting the coaching staff the way he's used, not real big right now with the organization. See, now you got me oh going, my and you're now laughing. Now we got at him me. on a rant. Now Joe, you we got are me all going. out of time. We're all out of time. We'll talk to you more in the next I'm sorry, half you're hour. You're laughing. Joe. All right. <laughs> Thank you. You got me, Bianca. You got me going. Thank you. <laughs>